Dubai has been a trusted and competent public official for the past quarter of a century. His name is now synonymous with integrity, steadfastness, intelligence, and dependability. He has a track record of being fearless when it comes to advocating contentious issues from the repeal of the death penalty and genuine agrarian reform to the controversial reproductive health bill. He is currently the president of the Liberal Party of the Philippines, a former undersecretary of the Department of Budget and Management after the EDSA People Power Revolution, Representative Lagman has been consistently chosen outstanding congressman every year since 1987. He formally chaired the Committees on Appropriations, first regular session of the 14th Congress, Overseas Workers Affairs, Justice in the 10th Congress, and Agraria Reform in 8th Congress. He was minority leader in the 15th Congress as well. Known for his legal acumen and debating skills, as well as for his incom incomparable work ethic, Representative Lagman's principal advocacies include, among others, reproductive health, full and speedy implementation of the agrarian reform program, promotion of human rights, review of the debt, debt stock and reduction of debt service, eradication of gas and corruption, and protection of Filipino workers both local and overseas. He is a graduate of the University, University of the Philippines Law in 1966 and Bachelor of Arts in 1962, cum laude. He was a university and college scholar in 19, from 1958 to 1966, a recipient of the UP Presidential Pin for Academic Excellence, a life member of Phi, Phi Kappa Phi International Honor Society since 1962, a life member of P Gamma Mu International Honor Society since 1962, and member order of the Purple Feather UP Law Honor Society. Let's give a round of applause to Congressman Ed Lagman. Greetings to one and all. Thank you so much for that comprehensive introduction. If I would be running again for public office, that introduction will certainly make me read. Salamat. I was supposed to be in the first district of Albay today after a comparatively long absence because of my active involvement in the congressional budgetary process. But I had to cancel happily my trip to Albay because I cannot refuse a good friend, Charles Pinata, yeah. who earnestly invited me to grace this occasion an art exhibit which helped organize. So I told my constituents that I could not be with them today and ask them to understand that we do not live by bread alone. Yes. We have to be enlightened, enlightened by the culture and the arts. Hopefully, they understood. My friendship with Charles is, principal, is principally, principally, principally sustained by our common love for art. Charles creates the art, and I appreciate what he creates and what he brings to me in art, art pieces. I have been an art collector and anti-collector for more than 30 years, longer than my being a member of the House of Representatives. This is my undisclosed passion, which is not publicly known to many. 
I am partial to visual arts. But when I heard Joshua perform, most probably I will add music to my yeah. uh, obsession for arts. I truly marvel how artists would create imagery from the melancholy to the ecstatic, from realism to abstract, from uh, apolitical to activism, from rustic to grandeur, from romantic to tragic, and from nothing to something. Yeah. I also salute our uh, Filipino artists whose talents are comparable to internationally acclaimed artists. Oh, wow. On this uh, occasion, I would like to congratulate Charles, Raymond, and the participating artists and I hope exhibits like this will teach our people to patronize culture and the arts. Yes. And to truly appreciate the arts. Because, let me repeat, we do not live by friend alone. Amen. Maraming pong salamat sa inyong lahat.